Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're going to paint some fun and simple ornamental corn. Yep, it's that time of year. People are hanging these guys on their doors, um, getting ready for the Thanksgiving holiday season. So I thought we'd try and paint some ornamental corn. Super simple and easy to do. You're just painting in some color, washing color, adding the little colored corns. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and let's get started. All right, for this simple exercise, we're going to start off by going over supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Uh, it's seven by 10. My water jars are up here. I can't really see them, some of them. Paper towels, I have my palette here, my paints to go over as I use them. They're always in the description box. And um, so that's where you'll find them. And I'll be using different brushes. I'm gonna make, start make, making, I'm using my Princeton half inch Neptune oval brush. Now I've just drawn in the corn pretty simply, you know, just the corn shape of the corn itself, just in like one, two, three, and then we're going to paint in the husk part of it. So I'm not going to draw that in, we're going to loosely paint that. Um, just use a like bigger brush you have, if you don't have an oval brush, you can have like a big floppy kind of brush, it's a Princeton 12 Neptune. Or I can even use my Grumberg if I wanted to, it's just going to be faster with um, something like this. So we're going to make like a, you know, like the, the, the ornamental corn has that dried husk. So it's a, like a beigey color, you know, when it's all dried out, when you see them, people decorate with their doors with them. So I'm mixing this Van Dyke Brown with the cadmium yellow deep. Test it out on my little paper towel here. Might add in a little black and a touch of blue touch of red see it's still kind of on the yellow side I want a little more deller so I'm going to add a little more black to that mm, that would work so we, we have the color that we want and I get it much the more water you have the lighter it will be so I'll just take my half inch oval here See, yeah. adding more water to that. I'm just going to start by making the husks. Just going to take on an angle. Just going to go up, over, and like down. We're not going to do anything really fancy. Here we go, pushing up, over. The husks all kind of like misshapen at this point. They're all like all over the place. See, going up, over. And don't worry if it in, over, you know overlaps. You can grab some of the more Van Dyke Brown again. Just go up over here. With the husks. And you can add some deeper tones. I can grab some more of that Van Dyke Brown. A little bit of the black. Mix with that. Just get in here and add another husk. And you can even make one coming downward too. Like you might want to mix up a good amount of this paint. See, I keep mixing it because I'm, the brush really soaks it up. So you're gonna have to mix a little more. And I'll just go down. This is just really loose. It doesn't have to be like this perfect. And don't worry if your color isn't the same. I can tell you guys, it's the whole point is to have some fun. Right? Don't get so rattled. If it's not fun, there's no, it's not worth it. Seriously. So, the corn part. This is such an easy, easy tutorial, guys. You guys can do this. See the husks? We can actually keep going. Like Now the husks will have those little lines going through them. When it dries, we can, can add some of that. Put a little more leaves going out this way. All right. I might switch up my brush now. I'll use a 12 Neptune, just a big belly brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flush in a color in each of the, um, the corn, and then we'll start adding the ornamental colors on top. So we can add like a yellow beige now at this point. This corn, just flush in this light yellow color. And then we can go when this dries, go in and add 
the reds, the browns, a little bit of the oranges, but just gonna throw in like this pale color first. Just gonna wash in on all three of these corns. This light, light color. And when this dries, we'll go back in and we'll start in so simply adding the corn. I'll show you how easy that's going to be. So I'm just flushing in this color. At this point, you could add in a little bit. So I'm going to grab some of my orange, my yellow, a little bit of this red, and brown. Just put in a little color up in here. Bleed. So it's still it's still wet. I wouldn't. Um, so if you just start to put in the little corns, now it's going to bleed out. Shh. You don't want to do that yet. You do want it to have the kind of a bleedy look, but you have to wait till it's kind of. This is a tricky part. Damp, but not super damp. Does that make any sense? And if you have a little square brush, I'm trying to see if I can find my little flat wash brush. It might be simpler. This is too big to make the little corns. You might just need just a small brush. Or I can even use this crumb backer. Now I'll test it out. See that nice little bleed I had in there? Put a little brown in there. There's a corn husk back here because there's a corn in here. So I'm going to throw in a darker color. Right, we're missing the one behind. Lift that up a little bit. Okay. So I'm still testing this a little wet. So I'm just test it out by just adding some of the little corns. So you mix up some oranges, some yellows, some reds, you get the browns, and you're gonna play around with just putting that. See, it's still spreading out. So we're gonna have to just dry this a little bit first, and then go back over. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> have to dry a little corn first. I'll throw in a wash of color. And if we can, maybe if we get the paint a little thicker. I don't want it too concentrated though. I'm trying a little corn. All right, so it's not being as much. So basically you're gonna be doing, you know, corns go in rows, just like that. So you can't be sporadically putting out the color. It's gotta be kind of in a row. So I'm gonna mix up quite a few different colors over here and get that red going. And a deeper yellow. So they were in rows, you know? See, that's still bleeding. All right, so what I'm gonna do is gonna dry this and come back. All right, so now it's dry. <laughs> and we'll just take our, I think a good size belly brush. This is a Grumbacker 10 round. And we're gonna put in our little corns have to kind of space them out because they're not going to all be the same color. And we're just basically putting in a little dab. See that little dab? Trying to get less paint on there. You want to keep it in the row though. And grab a red one. orange and there's the brown ones if you can try and space it out in between it might be easier what you're gonna do is do this throughout the whole entire corn so you can just mix up the different colors try and get them a little closer but they're in a row see that Little red, little corn ears. So it's starting to look like corn. 
Let's see, I'm just tapping it down like this. I'm not doing drawing anything special. Just pushing the pink color down. And I'm just keep mixing up. As you can see, I keep grabbing the different colors. It doesn't have to look like this perfect corn kernels. It just has to look like it's ornamental corn. So you're going to be doing this throughout. Remember, they go in a row. So if you need to like guide yourself by just putting a bunch of corns down like this in a light color, you could do that. See how I'm doing this? Just to guide the row. That makes life a lot easier for you. Just pushing down this little like, yellow color. And then what you could do is go on top of those little corn kernels. Now that you have the row established, and then start putting in the colors. So put in the oranges sporadically. This might be an easy trick for you to get the orange or different colors down by keeping them in a row. See how simple that was? Do that again, I'll show you. Just put the light yellow down. That's a little dark. Because the orange and the red on top of that would be much darker. Anyway, so it's okay. This will be your guide. See, I'm holding it kind of on the side, just pushing down a color like this, just to get the corn in the row. And that will be your guide. And then you can paint on top of them, orange, red, brown. It's just gonna help you guide yourself to know where it's gonna go. So you keeping it in a row without making it look like a total mess. So just like a little corn guide. And if you have a good size um, brush, see, now I made all the little corn marks. Now I can go back in and add brown ones. Because the ornamental corn is like multicolored, right? It's not this perfect. And I would do some more brown ones in here where it's going to be shading dark. Anyway. And red too. But you see how simple that was to make the little corn? Just go in here. We're not reinventing the wheel, we're just having fun here. It's like a fun little exercise, you know, and when it's finished, it's cute, right? You can use it for decor. Just something to do in the holiday season, getting towards Thanksgiving. See, I'm mixing up some more paint. Look at that orange, is so intense. For this, um, exercise I might want to tone down that orange and I'll show you once we get all the colors in if it's looking too stagnant we can just go in and put a wash over it and have it bleed a little bit and it'll have this nice look to it we're just gonna go through this so I'm not gonna bore you I'm gonna just show you how I went through all this I'm gonna go through mine I'm gonna finish all of them up and then we'll come back and I'll talk about the wash okay I filled a bunch of them in and they look like you know kind of stagnant ornamental corn and then I start to wash in a little bit so I've grabbed this beigey color again and we can just kind of wash over kind of blend in some of the corn or I can just have clean water Kind of push that paint around just on top just a little bit just to mute it so it makes any sense 
Same thing here. Just tapping some water around on top of them. You can have them a little brown if you want, a little gray. And tap some of that brown. Especially here where it's darker because it's underneath. I'm going to put in some black, brown, blue. Just kind of washing in. So I'm just tapping some water on top. I don't want it to blend too much, but I want it to blend. So you can either tap a color or just tap some of the water. I'm grabbing some light brown here. I'm just tapping that. And I, and I know it may seem counterintuitive that you put a little square, the corn in, but then you're going to go and bleed it. But it, to me, it's just the faster way to make it look like that in a softer, loose way. And then you can go back in again. When once that's bled, tighten it up a little bit with some corn, concentrated color. If you want to go ahead and do that. This is how I would like to. And I wouldn't do every single part of it. Most of it. Grab some more yellow. Just gives it that nice look, loose look to it. And you get the corn. And then the stalk, um, you can go back in and add some, you know, the stalk will have those scrapey, like corn, you see. Put some little lines going in there. And I would have some darker tones towards the corn. Just a little bit. Can, it still can bleed a little bit. You don't want it too liney and perfect, but you want to throw some of that detail in. See that? This one's behind it. I'll add a little dark shadow. Put a little more yellow color in there. Right, because it's beigey but yellow too. Just play around with it. You want to add some more up in here, stock. But I'll have a little darker tone towards where the corn meets the stock. I'll just put in a darker brown black color in here. And again, you could take your brush. This is the Princeton Eight Long Round. Just put some details in here, maybe a little black under here because it's in the shadow of the other two. I like to make it real loose. See, I'm adding some more brown. And like I said, once this dries, you can go back on top of these corns and have it a little more defined, or not. You want that whole loose look. See, I'm going back on there and adding in some color, that deep red. And that's that. Playing around with the corn. You know, this is just a fun exercise something to do if you're running out of ideas and you want to do something that's like the fall season. I thought it'd be fun to do some ornamental corn today. Pretty loose, simple. Oh, see? And like I said, you can add some details. Just not too much. Don't go overboard. Putting in the little lines and stuff. I'm going to keep it simple. But I thought this would be easy. So you can draw the corn shape, like I said, wash in the yellow color, do a bunch of those little yellow lines so you have the corns in the row, and then you add the color, and then you kind of put the wash on top. So to do the wash, to do it wet, like we were trying to do, and then do the dots, 
it just was bleeding too much. So then you can go back on top. It's still bleeding a little bit. See, it's bleeding too much. You can go back on top when it dries and then go add in the little kernels again. And then you have more defined kernels. But I really like that loose look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the simple little you know, tutorial today. Just an idea to do on a Saturday and you're bored and you're thinking, what am I going to paint today? And you know, just paint some corn husks <laughs> with corn. I'm going to put another one way up here, going off the page. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Also don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials there weekly. It's just a place where people can go and support my channel. And then I give you exclusive tutorials and PDF downloads over there of traceables of the tutorials. And I have my amazing art channel, which is the acrylic channel. You can see in the description box in the about page. So take care guys, have a great weekend and I'll speak to you soon.